How are we doing today? I want to talk with you about a few challenges I've had recently. Look, we all have challenges, but really these aren't challenges. These are opportunities. Now, I recently started working with a gym owner here locally in the Woodlands, and uh, we, I went out and we did our day consultation and we installed automated nutrition systems into his business so that he could then couple his exercise with the nutrition so his clients can start truly getting the results they came in for. And it was awesome. Five days later though, he went and he hired two new trainers, which is awesome because now he has the support. Here's where the opportunity came up. I noticed that the, the program wasn't selling like it does in, my, in most of the gyms that I work with, gyms and chiropractors, even in doctor's offices. And so I asked him, I said, you know, what's going on here? And he says, well, my two trainers aren't buying into it. So I hopped on the phone with him knowing that this would probably be a complicated opportunity, conversation. And in fact, it was. Both trainers showed up with their swords out, their guns out, ready to aim, ready to fire. And it was an opportunity for me because I was put on the defense immediately. And I let that happen. And that's, that's a learning opportunity. However, lo and behold, as the walls kept rising on their part because they had these preconceived notions about how their the nutrition that they did and how they transformed, you know, it was, it was, that was the only way that was going to work. And they weren't willing to have their paradigm shifted. They, they weren't willing to accept a new norm, even if it was a far more effective way. And so, so the reality is, is if, if we can understand that we have this immunity to change because we sometimes are afraid to change, then this is what happens. 30 minutes into that phone call, the female, one of the female trainers said, you know what? I've been combative because I've had my own preconceived notions. I, I've, I've approached the situation that, you know what? It's my way or the highway, but I realize that I haven't been open to change. And so now I'm willing to embrace it. Because again, if she didn't believe in the service, she's not going to sell it, nor should anybody. It's got to make sense here. And if it doesn't make sense here, what's the point? We're not going to sell it. We're not going to want to sell it. We're not going to want to change lives because we have preconceived notions. So what preconceived notions do you have? And what support are you willing to give to your clients? What length are you willing to go to serve your clients at the highest level, even if it means jumping in the deep end? As always, focus on your health so you can enjoy your wealth. I'll talk to you soon.